stick on a DC train. Uh, we got some uh, updates on uh, casting for the Green Lantern show. Um, Aaron Pierre was uh, cast as Jon Stewart, and a lot of people are understandably upset at the casting mm-hmm. um, because he's just joined a long list of light skin actors taking on dark skin roles. So if you if you look up Aaron Pierre, you'll see. Um, and uh, it sucks extra hard because Jon Stewart was not uh, DC's first black hero. And his creator, mm. uh, uh, Denny O'Neill, specifically wanted him to be dark skin. And if I'm not mistaken, he was DC's first black hero. Um, and yeah, you know, I get why people are upset. Um, and I actually plan on reading the series he debuted in that was written by uh, Denny O'Neill, which was in a, a Green Arrow, Green Lantern crossover series. Um, because I'm reading literally both characters right now. Uh, I'm also planning on right. reading that eventually. Um but uh, yeah, like I said, despite all that, it actually I, his casting doesn't bother me because I do think I think that he actually does look the part physically. Mm-hmm. Um, like I think just when I look at him and I look at the way he looks in a comics, I'm like, other than being louder than you know a lot of people want him to be, I actually think he looks the, he looks the part. And if James Gunn says he you know killed it in his audition, which he tweeted out, then like yeah, I, I trust him. So what will make me upset is F. This continues to be a trend like it has been. Um, like with characters like Storm, where like both of the women who have played Storm in live action were both light skin. Um mm-hmm. and uh have characters like Black Lightning, Vixen, Bumblebee from the Titans are 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 uh aren't dark skin, that would be upset. But here's the thing, we do have I don't know, I feel like something that gives me hope that I actually just remembered is that Mr. Terrific is gonna be in Superman. He is played by a dark skin man. That gives me hope that it isn't a precedent, like a precedent has not been set, that John Pierre is the right. ex- is the exception. Because the first black superhero that we have cast in the DCSU, um, DCEU was Mr. Terrific, and we've seen him. He's a dark-skinned black man. Um, so hopefully this isn't a regular thing. And two characters yeah. especially that need to be dark-skinned are Black Lightning and Vixen. Like, I feel like if, if either of them, especially Black Lightning, who's meant to be this, like, everything about him is 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 uh, surrounded by black power you know so having this that character be like you know, kind of like flies in the face of that in a lot of ways so it's like as long as mm-hmm. those two characters are dark skin i'm good if i'm being honest um this doesn't bother me as much but i do understand why it, it bothers so many people because it's been happening for so long and hopefully this outrage will um have james gunn and the the dc studios casting directors rethink how they cast for the major black roles in the dceu going forward 